welcome Gemini. We're going to be looking at what it is that Spirit would like to say to you today using postcards from Spirit, Grace cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, Gem, let's get into it. Let's have a look. Okay, one card for Gemini, please. Gemini. Right card. Let's flip that. Sorting the mail, Gemini. Sorting the mail. Oh, no, almost. <laughs> Getting closer. One card for Gemini, please, from Spirit. There it is, Gemini. There it is. Okay, so, Gemini, here we go. Dearest you, we have something exciting to share with you. You are a manifesting master and you don't even know it. There will always be enough of everything that you need in your life. Money, opportunities, love, kindness. So whatever you're asking guidance about, have faith and be open to the many ways in which you will experience prosperity. Spirit is the source of your supply. The universe is always reflecting back to you what you believe so whenever you fall into insecurity you will be shown an illusion as if your fear were real but the truth is that the universe is abundant you are and always have been enough and abundance is your natural state if you can imagine something consistently as true you can and will Create it. You are so on the right path now. Keep believing. Then this, sorry, then the seeing happens. Yes. Loving you more and more every day. Oh, yes. Oh, I love that. Love, love, love it. Okay, let's get stuck into this. Tell us more about this for Gemini, please. You are so on the right path. Keep believing. Then the seeing happens. Yes. Gemini. Three cards for Gemini, please. Tell me more about this. Do it. Is there more that needs to be said? I mean, come on. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Gemini, here we go. First card we have is perception. Second card is faith. Third card is listen. Right into it. Gemini, here's the first one. See the past through the lens of grace. All that occurs is designed to support our spiritual evolution. Yeah. So, and this is the thing, right? Sometimes that having, um, or, no, let me rephrase that. Not believing that things can happen for you can be based on past experiences because they haven't happened before. But what I want to say about this is, is something that actually came up in Taurus's reading. So have a look at that if you feel called to or if you have Taurus in your chat. Is this thing about, um, you know, really creating, you know, our, our thoughts, creating what it is that goes on for us, right? So if we truly believe that we're not going to get that or that that will never happen for us, that will happen. That will happen. It won't happen for us, right? The universe supports what we believe. So if we believe it's not going to happen, it never will. If we falter in our expectation of whatever we want coming to us, it's a mixed me message. It's a mixed signal. It's like tuning into a radio station 
And because you don't hear the, sound, the song that you want to hear, you switch the station, okay? But until you find the song, but the universe, you know, like you're, you're, not, you're not remaining solid in what it is that you want because you're always flitting from one to the other, going in and out. It's never actually in tune. It's not an alignment, okay? So this is very important. Okay, so anyway, tell me more about this for Gemini. Keep it on the table. Keep it on the table. Jim. Inner voice, inner voice and abundance. Yeah. Yep. This is it, right. Abundance is there. It is there to be had. It's the inner voice I think that you need to be aware of. That little critic inside of yourself. Here's the thing is silencing yourself here, Gemini, so that you can hear what is going on inside of yourself. Because it seems as though for some of you, there is a record that is playing that is so subtle in the background you can't actually hear it, but it's there. And it may not be supporting what it is that you want to create. So very important for you to silence yourself and listen and potentially change that record. Okay, wow. Yeah, wow. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is this. This is such a peaceful, beautiful, serene energy here. This is completing the harmony, right? And maybe this is changing the record by going inside and, and hearing what is going on, right? Um, this is going to bring what it is that you want, okay? This is... It's interesting because a couple of readings ago you had completion is closing out things that no longer, you know, there was something, I can't even remember now, but there was something about a, one more piece of the puzzle, okay? And, and this is part of that piece, I want to say. This is part of the piece because um, this is about the subtle, very subtle voice, inner voice inside of you. Um, The other thing I want to say about this Gemini is by putting this piece into place is going to bring you the harmony that you have always wished for. It's going to bring that connection, the heart, mind, the heart, the heart, <laughs> mind connection, right? It's going to bring that in. It's going to get everything into sync. It is a matter of silencing yourself and listening to what is going on so that what it is that you want in your heart aligns with what is going on in your mind. Yes, that was what I was trying to get to. Oh, wow, Gemini. Yeah, see, um, again, this is looking at the past to see what didn't work because for some of you it feels like that's protection. If I just be aware of this and, and remember what didn't work, then I won't get caught out again. But here's the thing, okay, this little one here is standing by the gate, right, and wanting to, like, where's the key, unlock the gate, I need to go forward through this gate. These two here are so freaking stubborn that neither of them will allow the other through the gate. These are your two twins here, Gemini. These are you, this is you, standing at the gate, okay, your two twins standing at the gate as you as one okay when the gate opens they're so stubborn they won't allow one to go forward so you're never going to get through that gate because it's the holding on and it's this I would, yeah i i don't really know if stubbornness is not the right word i guess the stubbornness of not letting go because that's a protection would probably be more apt here, but you're not going to get through the gate. You won't get through the gate unless you let go to allow this harmony to come into place. Okay? 
with this last piece of the puzzle here. Faith. Yeah, see, this is the, sorry, let me go back to this, the perception. This perception of needing to be in control and needing to be fully aware because of past circumstances. It's kind of like staying on the edge and staying vigilant so you don't get caught out, but it's not assisting you. It's not helping you to move forward. Yeah. Okay, faith. Faith. Have faith. Every event we experience and every person we meet has been put in our path for a reason. I love this. I love this card. She's like, faith? <laughs> Why would I have faith? Reminds me of one of these guys. Why? Why would you have faith? <laughs> right? Have faith. Every experience and every person we meet has been put in our path for a reason. You know, it's about looking at what we have to learn from that rather than blaming and finger pointing and all that kind of thing. What can we learn from it? What can we get out of it? How can we grow from that? You know, because that's the important thing here. Because if we don't learn those lessons, we're going to continue to come up against people, um, different circumstances, different people, um, but same lesson. Okay, let me pick these cards up that have gone on the floor. Okay, Gemini. Yeah. See, this is the thing, right? I actually really like this. I like this, Gemini, because this shows me progression. It shows this progression from healing, healing what has needed to be healed and taking the time, taking the time to step back and look at how do I want my life to look like? Sorry. How do I want my life to look like? What do I want my life to look like? How do I want that to appear? How do I want to colour it in? Right? Taking a moment to go to release the stubbornness, to let it open, to allow the harmony to come through, to allow the abundance to come in, to really connect with that, right? So I really like that. Doing the healing that is needed. That is awesome. Because there is this new beginning here. And it is passionate. It is a divine new beginning. Passionate in the sense of setting your soul on fire. Whatever that is. With a new job. It could be a, a hobby. It could be a friendship. It could be a new um, residence. You know. But what it, what it does, Gemini, it allows this new vision to come into play, to take place, for you to expand up and out. Right? For you to expand up and out. And, and this is what, you know, this, um, the ability that you have as this manifesting master, this is... The ability that you have okay because look at this master sitting here with the grasshopper understanding that the grasshopper is his teacher not the other way around that is what makes this master so masterful because he knows that every person he meets and everything that happens and everything he, he comes across has a lesson has something to teach him, right? So this is this is something that would be really good to incorporate into your life, that looking at every little experience. If a butterfly floats past you, oh, what can I learn from that? Learning about transformation, you know, whatever, right? And this is going to bring you to the breakthrough that you have been hanging out for, absolutely hanging out for, right? Because this is you, this manifesting master, the royal you, 
breaking through breaking through the ice that has been around you for so so long yeah listen Gemini listen when we feel overly attached to an outcome it's simply an indication that we need to re reconnect with our wise self yeah and I kind of feel like being um, overly attached to an outcome is more about the ego rather than being in your um, higher self right uh, so yeah that is really important it's like listening for something that's not there two more cards two more cards okay Gemini let me pick one up okay Gemini yep 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 we have a look at this going with the flow look at this new beginning here see this here closing out like this harmony here bringing everything into alignment this allows for this new beginning to come in right this new passionate new beginning which creates this abundance in your life okay like this is incredible this is even more than what you've dreamed of even more for you Gemini for you and your life okay this rebirth here we've got two tens okay like yeah this rebirth here this is um coming out of the this is coming out of this right the healing that you've done the work that you've needed to do the time that you've taken to do the healing this is you rising up now Gemini you rising up to play your tune to be heard to be seen people are appreciating that Gemini right stepping into that new vision even if the vision has been there for ages it's new because you're a different person right you're a different person Gemini and I want to say about this new vision too there was a vision that you had that was still restricting you that still kept you constricted and now that you've done what you needed to do you can stretch out of that you can stretch out of the restriction even you placed upon yourself right yeah just a reminder don't let the don't let the old noggin go to town on you okay don't let the overthinking pollute this new vision okay because rising up and out of the sea down here all these clouds it's like this right this here is polluting the atmosphere here so it's about you rising up here out of this up through those raging emotions that were suppressed for so long that kept this pollution happening which even stopped a solid foundation from being built and rising up now to this Gemini to this to everything that you have ever 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 wanted and do you know how that came about Gemini not by luck, not by chance, not by being in the right place at the right time. By you, Gemini. You doing the work. You creating this. Yeah? From what you have done. Believe it, Gemini. You've got the power to manifest this. Because what is manifestation? It is a creation of our reality. A creation that we execute okay and this is what you have the power to do rising above the terrain and seeing the possibilities that are there that you can create this is you creating your world how you want it Gemini this is a huge change huge wow I'm looking at this major arcana here right 
we have so much here. Look at this, Gemini. This is a massive, massive change for you, right? <laughs> wow. Wow. Huge and beautiful. And you are deserving of this. Okay, so let's have a read one more time of this postcard from Spirit for you, Gemini. Dearest you, we have something exciting to share with you. You are a manifesting master and you don't even know it. There will always be enough of everything that you need in your life. Money, opportunities, love, kindness. So whatever you're asking guidance about, have faith. And be open to the many ways in which you will experience prosperity. Spirit is the source of your supply. The universe is always reflecting back to you what you believe. So whenever you fall into insecurity, you will be shown an illusion as if your fear were real. But the truth is that the universe is abundant. You are and always have been enough. And abundance is your natural state. Yes. If you can imagine something consistently is true, you can and will create it. You are so on the right path now. Keep believing. Then the seeing happens. Loving you more and more every day. Gemini. Wonderful, that is so cool. I am going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you, bye-bye.